you to do a little bit for us, which is that he was in jail. Uh, like you said, his trial lasted three years, uh, sorry, three months. And like Bhagat Singh, he did use that opportunity to give a speech which would carry his message. But unlike Bhagat Singh, his speech was uh, buried. And if, again, if I'm correct, it only came out in 1997. Uh, but tell us about that speech, Vicky, and just because you're here on the eve of the film releasing, do us like a really hard-hitting line from that speech. <laughs> Give us a preview. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, I have to admit that it's one of those treasures that we have, uh, uh, <laughs> we have really, really, uh, you know, uh, look forward to shooting it and then presenting it to the audience in the, from the medium of the film. So I would, uh, my apologies, but I would really like to save it for the people who are really watching the film. Okay. Uh, but I have to say that it does mention about, like Sujita mentioned, the ideologies and that's what for me also was the most fascinating thing was for Udham Singh, for Bhagat Singh, for them their idea of freedom and equality were not confined by boundaries. It was for a man against a man, for entire for entire mankind, what they believed freedom to be, for the what they believed equality to be, and uh, the speech that you're mentioning, of course, it is a very 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 significant part of the film, uh, which where eventually you get to know what they believed in, uh, in terms of how he's designed the screenplay of the entire film, um, but I would very happily. Uh, perform the entire scene if you want to, but uh, I would really want, not now, <laughs> not now, but once the film is out and you've, uh, you've uh, seen the film, I would very, very... Okay, so I'm to going to ask you for a substitute. I totally respect that. You know, 21 years of gestation, yeah. many years of hard work, a delayed release. So we're not going to spoil that, but substitute it for us by maybe just telling us like one scene in the film that was for you the, either the most difficult, the most transformative, you know, tell us about uh, one scene. For me, the that. one portion in the film, uh, this, okay, this is something I'm sharing exclusively over here and I've not done that in any other interview for the film. With your permission, sir, <laughs> he knows what I'm going to talk about, but uh, the portions where we were trying to recreate the Jallianwala Bagh massacre, uh, those portions as an actor, I knew what, what I was getting into, but I still was not prepared for how numbing that experience was for me as an individual. To really be, and, and especially with the way he executes a scene, it, you're thrown into uh, such a realistic atmosphere of the world that we are trying to create that um, I genuinely felt that I experienced something for the first time as, as an individual. And later, after, you know, finishing that shoot on that particular day when we would go back to our hotel rooms and I would be on my own, I would just, there would be times when I would not get sleep because the whole night I would just keep wondering that if a reenactment of that episode was such a numbing experience for me, what an impact would that person have who has actually gone through that? who's actually lived that, who's actually witnessed that and experienced that. And that would really send like shivers down my spine to just know that, okay, one person has actually lived this, you know. And uh, then to, for the next day to come back to that very place and then shoot some other portions of that, that dreaded evening. That for me, uh, I don't think I, as an actor, have gone through an experience like that ever before. Thank you, Vicky, for sharing. That. And actually, it was for all of us. I mean, it was yeah. very difficult to recreate that. I mean, it was definitely numbing. I mean, you, see, it was a bloodbath. Yeah. I mean, uh, it was a complete. I mean, absolutely. The. I mean. It was disaster. I mean, it was a massacre which, possibly, uh, in a civilized way, uh, with a good PR, would the British have done, and the Nazis have done in a very brutal way. So I call this almost a similar execution. Uh, 